Hi, remember this video where I mentioned that my DIY piezo preamp was susceptible to EMI? Well, since then, I've been trying to find a way to shield my preamp circuit without moving it into a metal enclosure. Hey, I love my wood burnt rustic enclosure, so don't judge me. So I scoured the internet for a possible solution, and I found this article and video by Six String Supplies. See links in my video description box about shielding a strat from EMI by applying copper shielding tape to the inside body of the strat and grounding the shielding to the guitar circuitry. And I thought, this is promising. So I painstakingly removed my piezo preamp circuit from its cute wooden enclosure, got myself some copper shielding tape for about eight bucks on Amazon, and carefully lined the box with shielding tape. I used my multimeter to check that all of the inner surfaces of the box had continuity before moving on to lining the lid. Then lined the lid, and after verifying that its surfaces had continuity, I connect the box and lid by soldering a cable between them. Then I checked for continuity between the box and the lid, and once I verified that, I soldered a cable from my pretty copper lining to the main grounding point in my piezo preamp circuit, which, according to the schematic, is located right here. Once that was done, I turned on the preamp and conducted my battery test to make sure that I wired everything correctly and that my battery wasn't going to get hot and explode. My mod passed the battery test, so it was time to reassemble my preamp and I made a DIY battery holder with construction paper and tape so that the battery can sit at the bottom of the box without touching the copper shielding. Then I lined the top of my enclosure's lid with construction paper to separate my circuit components from the copper shielding on the lid. Now it's reassembled but does it work? Let's find out. I conducted a controlled experiment and three real world tests to see if my preamp was shielded from EMI. I began my controlled experiment before I modded my preamp. For a clear point of comparison, I recorded the output of my unmodded preamp under my desk with my pesky EMI producing LEDs turned off. You'll notice that my amp isn't plugged into any of my cigar box guitars. EMI noise is more apparent when the preamp isn't plugged into an instrument. So all of my experiments and tests will feature my pre in its noisiest state when it's on but unplugged from an instrument. The next thing I did was record my unmodded preamp in the same location but with my LEDs turned on. As you can see and hear, those LEDs are inducing a lot of noise. Okay. Now we're looking at my preamp after the shielding modification. Now, before I conducted the EMI test, I did check to make sure that my preamp was still working. I made a quick test recording with my shielded preamp and here it is. It works. So moving on with my EMI experiment, I placed it in the same location under my desk and turned on the lights. And behold, we don't have EMI noise, but we can't declare victory just yet. We need to see this thing operating under real world conditions. My project studio is like a miniature stage. Apart from my fancy green LEDs, I've got stage lights in here. I've got an XR18 wireless mixer stage box in here. I got two guitar effects pedals set up with the XR18 and tons of cabling and power strips everywhere. So I turned all of these things on and place my preamp in three areas where I usually use my preamp to see if it starts humming with EMI. So here are the results you're all looking for. Okay, so you're looking at test location one on the floor under my desk. My preamp's output is plugged into my practice amp. Do we hear hum from my little amp? No, great. Now let's up the ante and place my pre next to my effects pedals, XR18, power strip, and, and place it on top of a jumble of cables. Do we hear hum from my amp? No, great. Okay, now let's place my amp on my desk. Oh no, I hear a hum. Ah. Okay, let's relax. This area must be bombarded with EMI. Let's remove the lid to unshield my preamp to see if the shielding is blocking any of the EMI in this location. Oh, interesting. The hum gets louder when the lid, part of the shielding, is removed. Let's place the lid back on.
Oh, interesting. The noise is lessened when the lid is replaced. So even in this location, some EMI is being blocked. Okay, so here are the ultimate results. Did applying the copper shielding to my wooden enclosure completely block EMI? The answer is no. We saw that if the EMI levels in the area are high enough, the amp will still produce a hum. However, we also saw that the shielded amp did produce less noise in the high EMI area than when it was unshielded. So to conclude, the shielded piezo preamp produces a cleaner signal than the unshielded preamp. So my ultimate conclusion is that it was worth my time shielding my little wooden piezo preamp. Now, before I plug this into a CBG and do a victory dance, I'd like to note that my pre is still totally susceptible to RF interference, which is a very low frequency subset of EMI. How do I know this? Well, yesterday I noticed that my pre started to make a clicking noise when my cell phone was within a few inches of it. I couldn't capture this on camera because it doesn't happen all of the time and I couldn't get my phone to replicate the noise with my pre on camera. But I don't feel bad about this. Why? Because my audio interface, an industrially produced piece of audio gear, also does this. I've heard my interface click and buzz due to RF interference also. Thankfully, this is something that my phone only produces occasionally, which allows me to use my audio interface and piezo pre effectively, even when my phone is nearby, which is sadly all the time. But it's worth keeping your cell phone away from audio gear during a session or performance if possible, because it can disrupt your equipment. Kind of makes you reconsider not putting your cell phone in airplane mode when you fly. Scary. Anyway, I promise you a victory dance. So here it is with my gritty Perdomo Immenso CBG plugged into my shielded preamp, which in turn is plugged into my practice amp on a clean setting. Enjoy. <music> By the way, if you found this video to be informative and or entertaining, please hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Chaito.